to 20th chapter uh, at verse 17 to kind of read down to understand what it is, praise our God, that uh, he is talking about. Uh, for saints of God, we have to know who we are in Christ Jesus. Uh, we cannot be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Uh, he talks about finishing his course here. And what a course is, is the path or direction that something or someone moves along. Right. So we begin to take about it, and we're on a course. We call it a journey, but we're on a course, praise our God. But sometimes some people think being saved uh, in this day and age that it's from point A to point B. Uh, but it's not so being from point A to point B because there are many little bumps and bruises, there are many little things that happen to the saints of God along the way. And, right. and, but some of these things are what's moving the saints of God. So that's why he said none of these things move me. And some of these things, praise our God, were the very people, amen, that he had taught, praise our God. Some of the very people he had slept with, praise our God, meaning that night and day, praise God, that not as for women per se, but these are the same people he had kept company with, amen. And these are the things that none of them, even though they left him, they did not move him. Uh, so we find him, praise our God, uh, in that direction that Paul, he's beginning to tell us, amen, that he has finished his course, amen, that everything that God has given him to do, he has done. So as saints of God, as we come into God's house, uh, we got to realize who we are and what God has called us to do in the ministry. So uh, until God cracks the sky or until we meet him, amen, in that grave, so to speak, uh, we got to understand that there's a course for us that we got to maintain and that we got to finish. So as long as you're breathing in the house of God, praise our God, uh, you still have a course or direction uh, that you're going to have to take. Uh, he said, listen, uh, so when we get here and we find in Acts 19, chapter, verse 15, it goes on to say something here. He said, but the Lord said to him, he says, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles, kings, and to the truth of Israel. So God has already set the course of the direction which Paul was supposed to take. Uh, so as saints of God, uh, if you've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and been filled with the prescript of the Holy Ghost, uh, there's a course of action and directions uh, that we have to take. Uh, so that's what he said, I fought Amen, a good fight. He said, I've finished my course and I've kept the faith. Uh, Paul said, amen, that man did not give him this ministry. Uh, it was given to him by Jesus Christ. Uh, so therefore, amen, the direction that he took was not from man. He took it directly from the Lord himself. Um, and most of the time, amen, I want to go back to something that explains something to a lot of people here. Uh, when we find that in the age that we say something called cox, uh, how many heard of the term cox? C-O-T-S. Uh, it's, it's short for uh, commercial off the shelf. Uh, and what Cox is, amen, uh, back in the days of the military, what was happening was uh, there was always buy, you, you've seen on the news, by the military paid $550 for a hammer, praise our God. But when we think about electronics, amen, they was talking about commercial off the shelf, meaning that it was just not a military thing uh, that you could just take this one piece of equipment out and plug it in. Uh, and that's what they would say. But well, what they found out, praise our God, uh, by being commercial off the shelf, uh, as though as cheap as it was, praise God, God, uh, and, but, but, but it was cheap to do uh, because these things was manufactured but they had some restrictions that the government had to use uh, and these restrictions was uh, certain countries, praise our God uh, you couldn't buy these electronics from uh, China was the number one, praise our God you couldn't have a piece of Chinese equipment you see that thing made in China you couldn't have a piece of electronic equipment uh, in a military installation uh, that said made in China uh, that was a problem because they could bump those things uh, they could put things in that thing with time out on them uh, so there was certain restrictions Praise our God. Uh, and so it is with the word of God. Uh, we're not commercial off the shelf, but we're commercially brought out of the streets of my God, uh, of sin, uh, into the marvelous light. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, before we can plug you into certain things and put you in a certain situation, uh, you got to be proven and tried by the precious gift uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, so this commercial off the shelf, praise our God, uh, it had these restrictions and they had to do it uh, because if they didn't, there was going to be some problems uh, along the way. Uh, so in other words, there was a great security concern about these things. Uh, so what happens here? Uh, Paul said, I fought the good fight. Uh, in other words, he says, I put up some resistance against some things that withstood the word of God. Uh, he said, I got some battle scars behind me. He said, I know what I'm talking about because of the life that I live. Uh, so saints of God, uh, we got to understand uh, that sometimes uh, we begin something that's new. Uh, and for the child of God, when you come into the house of God, uh, they're real excited, amen, uh, about what they're getting ready to do. Uh, some of us are excited about that new diet they take, amen. Some of us are excited about that new polish, uh, that new hairdo, praise our God. Uh, some of us are excited.
excited about a new job. Uh, some of us are excited about being grandparents. Uh, yes, we are. But the thing about it, uh, that this thing, listen, uh, you got to understand uh, that this journey, this course that we're on, uh, it's not a 60-yard dash. Uh, you're not timing yourself trying to figure out how fast you can get to the end. Uh, but it's a journey that we got to take. Uh, it's a marathon. Uh, you got to have some endurance in this race. Uh, the key is not to be strong when you start, uh, but you got to be strong when you finish race. Uh, uh, that's the problem with saints. Uh, the adversary is wearing them down uh, so that they begin to think they see it says our salvation uh, is nearer now uh, than when we first believe. Uh, but some of the saints are being weary. Uh, but don't be weary in well doing. Uh, for in due season you shall reap uh, if you faint not. Uh, what is the season that we're in? Uh, when they will not hear sound doctrine. Uh, that's the season, saints of God, uh, that we're in. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, but I often time ask Lord, uh, why me? He's for such a time as this uh, that you're going to be appointed, amen, to stand before the people of God. Uh, when they will hear sound doctrine, uh, you still got to give it to them. Uh, you cannot, amen, compromise uh, the word of God. Uh, he said, I know, my God, uh, many people who've gotten excited along the way, uh, but they've fallen by the wayside. Uh, they have lost their zeal uh, because why? Uh, they were just serving God. Uh, they were serving him, but then something happened. Uh, something beset them. Uh, something caused them, praise our God, uh, not to continue in this race. Uh, something caused them, praise our God, to stagger at the promises of God. Uh, but glory be to God. Uh, he's given us the reason, my God. Uh, he said, in the end, my God, uh, these things are going to happen. Uh, but that's why Paul began to say, none of these things uh, move me. Uh, we preach about them all the time, uh, but we got to take these examples as well. Uh, you cannot let none uh, of these things. Uh, what are some of these things? Persecution being talked about. Uh, you name it. These are the things, praise our God, uh, that he did not allow him to be moved. Uh, so when we start here, praise our God, people have been in fire for the Lord. Uh, yes, they were, uh, but somebody have taken a hold to them. Uh, but this Holy Ghost, I got my God. Uh, you can't put a hold to this thing. Uh, you cannot put this fire out. Uh, you can't because uh, this eternal, my God, this is an eternal flame, uh, and it won't go out. Uh, as long as I keep feeding the flame uh, through the word of God, uh, it won't go out. Uh, when you stop feeding on the word of God, uh, that flame will start to figure out. Uh, Say 
say uh, to us in these last and evil days, uh, listen what we said. People are not going to respond to the ministry or to the word of God positively. They're just not going to do it uh, because it's just the times that we're living in. So when you understand the times that we're living in, uh, don't take it personal. Don't take it because God has already set this thing in order. So you cannot change the order of God. So all you can do is go with the flow uh, of what God is saying. Uh, so now what happened, uh, in order to get a full understanding, we still got to go to the 20th chapter, praise our God, uh, of Acts. Uh, and down to verse 17, uh, because Paul now is beginning, uh, he called the others of the church in Ephesus. Uh, he wants to get them to understand something. Praise be to God. Uh, when you want to get somebody to understand, uh, he called them all together. Because what I say to one, uh, I'm saying to everybody. Uh, so we got to get there, saints of God. Uh, he begins to say this thing. Uh, the reason I said this is because I want us to get the understanding uh, of what Paul was going through. Uh, he said, I finished my course. Uh, in other words, everything that God has given him to do, uh, he finished this thing. Uh, so now he began to charge these elders. Uh, he said, my time on this thing. Uh, he said, I'm about done here. Uh, but I'm charging you, praise our God, uh, to fight the good fight of faith. Uh, I let pastors go on. Uh, and some people have lost his charge. Uh, they lost his zeal. Uh, they were serving a man and not God. Uh, that's why we got to start understanding uh, what this word is really saying to us. Uh, he said when they will come to him, uh, he said to them, ye know uh, from the first day, my God, that I came uh, unto Asia, that at what manner uh, I've been with you for all seasons. Uh, he said in everything, uh, he said you know me uh, through the ups and through the downs. Uh, you know my integrity. Uh, you know, praise our God, uh, how I conducted my in all manner of circumstances. Uh, listen to what he says. Serve the Lord uh, with all humility of mind uh, and with many tears uh, and temptations. Uh, it doesn't sound like a great big ministry. Uh, he said many tears uh, and temptations. Uh, how many of you feel like you have some pride sometime? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, how many been through some temptations sometime? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, those that live godly uh, in this precious world, uh, you're going to suffer some things. Uh, you're going to allow some things to happen. Uh, the enemy going to tempt you uh, at your very knowledge of the word of God. Uh, he says, which shall befell me uh, by the lying and wait uh, of the Jews, praise our God. Those are God chosen people. Uh, those are the ones that God said, I'm sending you to the Gentiles. Uh, and also I'm sending you to the lost house of Israel. Uh, so in other words, the same rejection that Christ had uh, is the same rejection, my God, uh, that Paul has. Uh, and so now it is uh, that we find ourselves uh, being the pastor of Greater High October. Uh, it's the same rejection that I'm finding myself uh, in that same situation. Uh, but I'm encouraged uh, by the word of God. Uh, he said, if they persecute the prophets, uh, they're going to do the same thing to you. Uh, so I'm not worried, praise our God, uh, because uh, I know that I'm on the right track, uh, I'm on the right course, my God. Uh, I'm in the right place uh, at the right time. Uh, he said, I kept back uh, nothing uh, that was proper unto you, uh, withholding nothing, uh, even though sometimes uh, it made them mad. Yes, it did. Uh, but he said in his word, uh, in Galatians, he said, have I come to in here? My God, because I told you the truth. Uh, in other words, uh, some people, uh, can so they make you, have to make you mad, uh, they're going to hold back some things. Uh, they're going to skip over some things. Uh, but I cannot skip over the word of God. Uh, if he said the wage of sin is death, uh, then the wage of sin is death. Uh, he has homosexuality. Uh, the abomination is God. Uh, we speak that. Uh, we speak the thing that we've seen and heard. Uh, it's the word of God. Uh, don't skip over it. Stay uh, in the book. Uh, if you stay in the word of God, uh, none of these things uh, are going to move you uh, because you understand uh, what the end is. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, listen, uh, he said unto uh, you, uh, he's going to show you uh, and I've taught you publicly uh, from house to house. Uh, in other words, uh, he said, I didn't do this thing uh, in a corner. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, he said, I did it openly. Uh, I Listen here, uh, why are you coming to me by night? Uh, he said, I preach this thing uh, openly, uh, and you didn't come to me then. Uh, sons of God, uh, I got some phone calls uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, glory be to God. Yes, I have. Uh, but why, my God, uh, in the middle of the night, uh, come to me openly uh, before the saints of God. Uh, we begin to understand this thing. Uh, he said, testify both to the Jews uh, and also to the Greeks. Uh, repentance who? Uh, towards God. Uh, not towards me, uh, because there were some people beginning to start to talk uh, later on, my God. Uh, 
standing in Ezekiel, the blood is going to be required on my hands. But I want to stand before the Lord and say, well done, that good and faithful servant. You spoke the truth. You gave him my word. That's all I required of you to do. Saints of God, what does God require us? He said, don't let nothing move you. I like it when the old folk will sing a song. I won't take nothing from my journey now. You can't make me doubt him. Jesus, uh, because uh, I know uh, too much about him. Uh, I know too much about the word of God uh, to doubt him in these last uh, and evil days. Uh, listen what he says. Uh, he said, Behold, now I go, uh, bound in the spirit uh, unto Jerusalem, uh, not knowing uh, the thing that's going to befall me. Uh, sometime uh, we wake up in the morning, uh, we know what happened yesterday. Uh, some decision that was made, uh, and we don't know uh, what's going to happen. Uh, but glory be to God. Uh, on my side, I can take it, I can make it through the day, because we begin to understand something, that God, he's a God of all, in other words, when I say, everything belongs to God, every situation is in his control, if God brought you to it, he can You gotta have a confidence uh, in the word of God. Uh, that's what the confidence was. Uh, saints of God, uh, I want you to understand something. Uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, uh, but I just can't help it. Uh, because uh, we would think about uh, the financial market uh, and everything that was going on, uh, they was giving loans to people uh, that did not qualify for these loans. Uh, two, three, four years later, uh, these people lost everything uh, because uh, there was loan shorts. Uh, they were giving them loans that they couldn't afford. Uh, why? The banks had guaranteed uh, that this thing, my God, uh, the banks are going to get their money uh, no matter what. Uh, saints of God, uh, understand uh, what Paul is saying. Uh, he said, listen, uh, when you are sent by God, uh, God is backing you 100% of the way. Uh, that's why I know I'm worried uh, about what people say. Uh, because I was sent by God, uh, and if God sent me, uh, and then he's backing me, uh, God has never failed. Uh, that's why Jesus Christ uh, was who he was. When you look at the 13th chapter of St. John, uh, he begins to talk about, uh, he said, now the feast of the Passover, uh, my God, uh, he went down, and what did he do? Uh, let's go there real quickly, uh, because I want to get something out of this message. Uh, none of these things, saints of God, uh, is going to move you. Uh, let's get there, uh, because we got to realize uh, what God was saying. Uh, I know, praise our God, uh, who I believe in, uh, his name is Jesus. Uh, he saved me uh, from my sins. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, he said, now, nah, my God, uh, he said, before the feast of the Passover, uh, let me get there again. Uh, he said, now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew uh, that his hour was come, uh, that he had to part uh, out of this world to the Father. Listen to what he said here. Uh, Jesus knew uh, what time it was. Uh, the question to the saints of God, uh, do you know uh, what time it is uh, that you curb the morals of your mind, uh, that you be steadfast and move uh, always abounding in the works of the Lord? Uh, that's what time it is for the saints of God. Uh, he said, having loved his own, uh, which were in the world, uh, he loved them with uh, until the end. Uh, saints of God, uh, God is going to love you uh, into the end. Uh, as long as you stay uh, within the will of God, uh, listen what he began to say. Uh, he said, and supper being in it, uh, the devil now had put into uh, the heart of Judas Iscariot, uh, Simon's son, uh, to betray him. Uh, he already knew. Uh, he said, haven't I told you twelve? Uh, and one of you is a devil. Uh, that's nothing uh, that kept Jesus unaware. Uh, he knew this thing. Uh, but here's the verse. Uh, in verse number three, uh, look at what he begins to say. Uh, he said, and, no, and Jesus, uh, know that the Father uh, had given all things into his hand, uh, that he should come from God uh, and back to God. In other words, uh, he knew who sent him. Uh, he knew where he came from uh, and he knew where he was going. Uh, we came out of the world, uh, out of the world of sin, sickness, and disease. Uh, you got to know where you came from, saints. Uh, remember, my God, uh, when the atmosphere comes in like a flood, uh, don't forget what you came from. Uh, don't forget you was enjoying sin uh, for just a season. Uh, but the Spirit of God, uh, it draws you in. Uh, and now, my God, you're seated in heavenly places. Uh, Jesus. Uh, so what he began to say here, uh, there's a destination uh, that God is saying. Uh, that's of course my God. Uh, that he said uh, in the chapter, my God, uh, he goes on uh, when he's on the cross. Uh, guess what he says uh, when he said it is finished uh, and everything uh, that the scripture might say uh, might be 
he fulfilled. Uh, he fulfilled everything. Uh, that's why he said it is finished. Uh, he finished the course with the Father uh, and given him to do. Uh, he said, I came from God uh, and I got to return. Uh, Saints be the God. Uh, my God, uh, you came out of the world. Uh, don't you go back uh, because God has sent you back into the world uh, to be an effective witness uh, to tell her. Uh, Say some God, you're going to have to endure some hardness as a good soldier. 
Yeah, you're smiling, yeah. bro. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah. They were saying, is this just blue? Huh? Is it black? Huh? Is it gold? Is it white? Huh? My God, everywhere I turn, huh? people talk about this dress. Huh? Yeah. They look at it and say, what did God say? He said, this dress is gold huh? and white. Huh? Yeah. You know, some stand and say, this dress huh? is black and blue. Huh? There was a vision among them. Huh? And everybody's seeing the same thing. Huh? But when it comes down to the word of God, huh? we got to mind the same thing. Huh? We got to talk the same thing. Trust in God. Uh, this thing 
God. This is a bump, whatever you have. Uh, you gotta believe God for it. Uh, don't, my God, uh, don't get worried about it. Uh, don't get fearful. Uh, I know you gotta go to work, by it, but if you can't go, uh, then you just can't go. Uh, but saints of God, uh, that's some of the excuses some of the people of God are using. Uh, I can't go today. Uh, why not? Uh, because uh, Paul is trying to tell them uh, in tears uh, and in temptation, uh, he had to go. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, because uh, there was a charge in his life. Uh, that's why some of the saints, uh, they don't want to take this charge. Uh, because you got to be subject uh, to the will of God. Uh, you got to understand uh, what it is that God uh, has entrusted to us. Uh, these talents uh, in the 25th chapter of Matthew, uh, if you don't use these things, uh, God is going to charge you for them. Uh, so if you sit down uh, on that talent, uh, God is holding you responsible for what it is uh, that you're not doing uh, in the word of God. Uh, we are in the arm of the Lord, saints of God. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, we have to be available 24-7, uh, uh, seven days a week. My God, uh, glory, how many of y'all was happy uh, when the snow came? Uh, you got the day off. Uh, yes, you did. Uh, you got a chance to roll over uh, and look uh, and say, let it snow. Uh, let 